Hey, y'all, Killer Bee's world-famous comedian here, and we are at the fourth annual Music City Duck Races here in Nashville. A great, wonderful charity event with thrills and chills galore and fun for the entire family. Let's go check it out. Right now, we're at the judging table for the corporate ducks. These are fancy ducks that were put together using contributions from public and private enterprises. And here we have the Brian White duck. That's duck number 12. That's a wonderful duck here. The Diamond Rio duck. And this is some of the actual stage clothing that Diamond Rio wears during their concerts. We have the Brooks and Dunn duck. Now this duck was in a horrible accident in a NASCAR race recently and is on the comeback here. Another Brooks and Dunn duck. There would be a Brooklyn and a Dunn one. And this, folks, is the Gaylord Entertainment Duck. You know, they're the big wigs there at TN. and Speaking of big wigs, this is Porter Wilder, and that's some of Porter's real hair. Folks, here we are seeing how they line these ducks up in preparation for the race. Man, get this, not only do we get to see the races, but we get to get in the water, in a boat, and see them up close and personal. And now, folks, we're actually heading out onto this watery race course. Captain Joe and First Mate Buttons have taken the helm. Folks, we have started the race. It's officially started. As you can see, the, the pack is pretty tight bunched right there going into turn one. Folks, here we are at the front of the pack. Two mallards, two plain mallards without all the fancy stuff have pulled ahead of the pack. They're at least 20 or 30 duck lengths ahead of the rest of the field. Now, some people may be hollering foul because of this. I don't know, but we're going to find out just how this ends any second now. Is that the number one duck? That is the winner, folks. Let's hold that duck up so we can see it right there. We think we have a new course record. You know, we thought earlier that with the choppy conditions of the surf and the wind being against the dust that we weren't going to see record times, but I believe I was proven wrong, and we're going to have a time for you in just a little bit. We think this is a world championship run, and there's the duck pickup boat right there. That's a very important boat. Many years ago, they would just swim out and get the ducks, but they lost lots of race personnel, lost a lot of their officials doing it. So now they put them in a boat, and you know what? These guys are professional duck retrievers. They make it look easy, but it's really not. You know, later we're going to have a game warden come by and check their limits. <laughs> the rest of the field is coming in now. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is a sad moment. This duck seems to have met his demise, and uh, I believe that is his last race. They're now announcing the winners of the corporate duck contest. The best dressed corporate duck awards goes to Gaylord Entertainment. Todd, tell us about the award you're holding. Well, Porter Wadler won for best dress and for most original. Well, folks, that marks the end of the corporate part of our duck race. Coming up next, we have the little guys, those little yellow speedsters, those built for speed little rubber duckies that we all grew up with. They're going to release thousands of them, and it's going to be one free for all and a heck of a good race.